What is up, BT gang? You are show how it go. It is BNT back with another video. Thank, Thank you guys, guys so, so much for watching the channel. We watch mine laugh. Um, make sure you follow us at We Are BT Four E, um, and also follow us at our new um, family channel, sort of kind of BT Four E TV. Make sure you guys subscribe there as well. We will be uploading content on there really, really, really soon. Um, so today is a very, very important video. Um, it is explaining um, our next move that we've decided to make. As you guys see, we've been looking for apartments in our last recent couple of videos. That's why we haven't been able to do our daily uh, three uploads. Like we've been, we were uploading a lot um, to the point to where people that watch us on a daily, you know, would always be seeing different type of content from us, skits, vlogs, pranks, challenges, and everything. But we had to slow down because we were going through a lot as far as figuring out um, what we were going to do as far as our living situation and things in life. Yeah, riding around, looking at different apartments, putting in applications, bringing in paperwork, and doing all that stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. So, if you guys don't know, um, when you're moving into an apartment, um, it takes a lot of work as far as, like she just said, the process of going back and forth, bringing paperwork. Um, but all, best suits you. Yeah, and then and that's what I was about to say. But also, you gotta go searching for places that best suit you. And you know, we have lived together for about I think it's four years. Uh, to me, it says three. I think it's like going on four, but let's just say three and a half. Um, and that's a lot of money. You know, it's a lot of money with rent. We probably paid out close to uh, fifty fifty thousand dollars in rent Maybe or a more. Bit more. Yeah. So um, that's a lot of money, and we live in Philadelphia. Me personally, Philadelphia is not the place that I personally want to live in. It's not somewhere where I see myself living like within the next ten years. And one of the reasons is is because it's not it doesn't fit the image of where I want to live. Um, I can't say what I was going to say, which is the environment doesn't fit me, and I don't like the environment because we make, you know, we we can make something out of anything. It doesn't matter where we're at. So that's not an acceptable um, reasoning. It's just you know you you always dream of being ha having something or living somewhere. Um, where it's nice scenery and it's you know more to do. Yeah, it's more to do because we 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 were raised here, so you know we we we've literally did everything here. Like we've did everything here. It's become it's become a normal thing, but technically we only can elevate ourselves within, and then you know further it outside. So um, it's it's been a real tedious process and. Tamia and I were talking and before we even knew that it was a lot of people doing this, um, we were like flirting with the idea of not even getting an apartment, if that makes sense. Um, you want to explain your reasoning on why not getting an apartment? So we felt like an apartment was limiting us. Um, I, we felt like, we could benefit more without having an apartment than having it, than having the responsibility, because literally here, all we do is edit videos, take a shower, and that's about it. So, that's all we were getting from it. And one of the biggest things was um, traveling. Like we always want to travel and do things, and you know, show you guys more content. You know, like the people that can get out of Philly. You know, show them other places, and even in Philly. But we figure it'd be beneficial not to have one than to have one. Yeah. So, and and a piggyback off that is me personally having an apartment is stressful to me, um, and it's stressful to everybody. But my side is I think that the stress is just not worth it because I'd rather um, have a house than have an apartment. 
um, pay a mortgage um, than pay rent, better credit and and all of that, then you know just pay rent. Um, if we were just on our own, as far as just us two, I think it would be way much. It would just be so much easier um, yeah. overall. And we probably wouldn't be in Philly, so. Yeah. Um, it would be way much easier overall, um, but it's not. So that's a little obstacle that I feel like we're gonna have to face literally, you know, for a whole bunch of years to come. But um, I'm always a risk taker. I'm someone that, regardless of anything, like she can tell you, like I, I literally take like any risk, like any, like there's no risk I don't think I would take. Um, if it if I see a benefit in it and what I mean by benefit is if I see like the things she just said um, could happen then I'm with it now it's definitely not going to be as easy as we're about to talk about it and, and make it seem it's, it's not it's not going to go at, at all how we expect it to I already know that it's not going to go easy it's going to be rough but we can do it you know and and that's the main that's the main point so we can find a way around it so we are at this point in time planning on living in our car you know um and now we have three children and um living in a car is going to be extremely hard but there's ways to work around it there's ways i have in my mind strategized to work around it I've been homeless before, um, so like it's nothing like that. I it's some certain things that I know. All right, to expect this, to expect this, you know, certain things I, I know to expect. But best believe that they're not going to be um, as affected as us because they no matter what they have places to go. So I mean that's not really. He is. Um, it's more so our choice than we have to. Yeah, yeah, let me explain that. Yeah, yeah, I, I forgot that part. So another thing is this, is like, we can get an apartment. That's not the problem. The problem is, and I mean, we, we've had, we never have had, never have not had an apartment. So us having an apartment is something that we can have, but we feel like it's a, it's more important to, to just build up, building this content, um, traveling, it's, which is something really big for me. Like, I really love to travel. Um, like I love to travel and just building individually and together and seeing where it takes us is is just where we're focused at. We're not focused on yeah and and uh saving a lot a lot of money um like uh right now and before I don't think I've rent the first apartment we ever moved into our rent was like a thousand, and then our two apartments after that. Our rent has always been around two thousand um, dollars a month, so it definitely gives us um, uh, time to like build our money up, like build it, like build more up, not having to pay rent, like you know, saving the two thousand dollars every month, and um, like we said, it gives us uh, a chance to travel because um, we don't have the responsibility of coming back and cleaning or coming back and making sure the rent is paid or coming back and making sure the water is on blase blase and i know you're like well what are you guys going to do how is this going to work how is that going to work the that's where you coming. need to subscribe and turn on the bell so you never miss a video and yeah. see how we work through these uh these uh Obstacles. What I, yeah, yeah. do these do these things and see how we figure it out. This is not a sad video. This is not a oh my god, you guys, we're living in our car. I'm super super excited about it. Um, like I said, because it's a lot of pros to it. Definitely a lot of obstacles, but you know, bouncing back is just in our blood anyway. So I mean, we don't have any problems with it. Yeah, and um. And like we said, we never knew how many people actually like live in there. Like it's an actual thing. Yeah. Like it's an actual lifestyle. Like it's an actual thing. Like people actually live in their cars like by choice. Like that's crazy. I never knew that. Yeah, because the thing, the thing with uh, living in your car, 
is if you really think about it when you pay them rent you're not paying rent towards anything and i remember uh i used to have a conversation with my uncle um, when i was sho shoveling the snow i was living at my grandma's at this time me and samir were dating but um i think we were transitioning from one apartment to another and i was explaining to him uh the apartment we found for something and he was just basically telling me how you know um it's, it's pointless to live in an apartment basically because the money is not going towards anything and when you're paying a mortgage the money is going towards the house so when you're paying rent the money is going towards the mortgage of the building but it's going towards the mortgage of the building for the owners not for you so technically all you're doing is just paying somebody a uh, extraordinary amount of money for a square footage and paying the bills in there it's just you know it's a come up for them so yeah that's that we're planning to do that and um that is going to be, uh, we start that on the 12th. Um, like I, by the 12th, everything has to be, you know, done for sure, for sure, out of here. Um, now, the thing is, is we don't know how everything is gonna go. That's, that's the point. We don't know how everything is gonna go, what's gonna happen. We don't know, we don't know. So mm -hmm. that's where it's, it's like, in my mind, it's intriguing as well to vlog this and to film how the stages go so when we come out of this we can see oh this is how we did it that's what's up or we could just see a progression as time goes on um so it's very 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 interesting because i haven't seen on youtube um maybe because i haven't looked but i haven't seen um someone that i can relate to from my point of view from what we're going through and that's the beauty of YouTube is everybody has a different type of angle to why they do things or how they do things. And we can just introduce you guys to our angle on why we're doing this. And you guys can come along with us and see exactly what we're doing, how we do it, how we live in the car. When we find out how we going to eat, how we going to sleep, eat how we going to Yeah, the, the so. way we going to set the car up. What, um... Like go, like, you know, must have items we have and all that great stuff. Yeah. Um, what was I say? I was gonna say I feel like um, being yeah. We definitely don't know how it's gonna go, obviously, because it's, we we can't really tell. All we know is how we expect it to go, and um, I feel like like I said, we're so excited about like so many things that like because having a a apartment is a big responsibility. So not having the responsibility, but even though it's it's not. We don't have to worry about the responsibility. We're still going to have to worry about so many other things still. Yeah. So we're, we're going to fi we're going to figure it it all out. But you guys will be coming along with this anyway. Oh, and one more thing. I feel like not a lot of people um, are like willing to to share something like this because on YouTube everybody gets judged. You know, everybody feels a certain way. Everybody feels like they got to have this certain like persona and this certain thing but if you guys already know we are always gonna keep it real and yeah yeah and another thing to take back off that is this like um we have never been in a position that, where we're broke um or where we like can't provide for our children or ourselves and like if if she is is down then i'm held responsible of making sure that she's good vice versa same thing like if our kids need something we gotta go and get it and that's just how we are so please don't mistake this for okay if you do live in your car you're struggling that don't mean that you're struggling it can mean that you have a different type of point of view on where what you are willing to sacrifice to get to where you want to be and at this point I can see what we want to do is YouTube, but at the same time, if we're investing all of our money into a living situation, which is then in return, we're still going out every day. We're still eating out every day. We're still doing certain things. Still got car notes, still got it's car like, insurance, still got other bills and all that stuff. Yeah, and, it, and then it becomes to the point to where it's like, all right, are you willing to sacrifice something out of this picture to evolve in another situation another area and that's mainly what it is it's not the point of um where 
in a bad position. No, I, it's literally a choice. So like, because no matter what, let's just say me and her were broke. We have places to live. Like I can, like we can live places. You see what I'm saying? So I just want you guys to know for whoever is going through this or whoever is choosing, because it's people that move from different states and live in their cars. It's people that say, hey, I want to live in Houston. So I'm going to go and drive to Houston, live in my car and work until I can afford to do this, that, and the third, or until I feel comfortable and saved up enough money to do this, that, and the third, you know? And it's so many different type of people that sacrifice different ways and different things to achieve what they want to achieve. So you just got to figure out what in your life you want to sacrifice, you know? Yeah. Don't try to impress broke people. Do not try to show broke people that you're not broke. And yeah. that's... But don't, don't, don't get me wrong, this is not a we're rich and this is a choice and we just want it to be a choice no we're just sacrificing a big part of what our money goes to and sacrificing it for um a chance to grow and as you guys see the videos and keep the bell on and you know subscribe and keep up with our videos you guys will soon like start to understand what we mean by like grow and things like that and have you know certain opportunities because you guys obviously will see the different content and the numbers grow and things like that but um like Brandon said it, it's a sacrifice that um we are willing to take we can always you know go to a hotel we can i can always stay with my mom we can always stay with his mom we can always stay at his grandma's house i mean i can always stay at you know at my dad's house or whatever the case may be but i feel like this is an opportunity um for us to grow not only um uh physically but mentally um as well and um you guys will come along with this anyway but we just want to tell you guys why we're doing it and why we made the decision to live in our car. Yep. So um, with that being said, man, we, we have a lot more things um, to discuss and go over. Mm -hmm. And um, and as we are prepping for this situation, we're going to record everything. So yeah. it's literally right around the corner. You guys are going to go around the corner with this too. Yeah. So make sure that you guys are um praying for us we're praying for you guys make sure that you guys um stay focused and realize patience is key and and just move to your own tune don't try and be too fast to impress or do certain things because we have purpose is bigger than now so sometimes you have to realize that now it's okay to you know sacrifice certain things because later you see a bigger you see a bigger vision especially if you got a, another person um that you're doing it with you have to think of everybody as a whole so let's get into it man and i can't wait to see you guys on the other side and go through these uh adventures with you guys so Thank you guys so much for watching, man. You already should know how it go. It is B and T back with another video. Thank you guys for watching. BT Gang is out.